Good morning and welcome to this week's installment of uh, No Bones About It Puppy Day School. We are going to be talking about um, crate exercises and how we can utilize those crate exercises to build um, value for being in the crate as well as self-control. We're really going to be focused this week on teaching um, cues like weight when we're leaving the car, weight when doors get open so you don't have a door dasher, uh, and the way that they're really effective because we can completely control the outcome uh, is utilizing our crate for this exercise. So first thing that we're going to do with Gus is we are going to just toss some treats in his crate. Yes, Kale, you can use whatever, um, whatever word you want. I just use kennel because that's what I use. Um, so toss one in to get him to go in there and then unlatch, I'm completely latch this every single time I'm practicing so that the, the sound of the crate opening is not the cue for your dog to dash out. Okay, so if I don't completely latch this every time, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a dog that thinks, oh, every time I hear that noise, I can dash out. I do not want that. So every time I practice this, I'm gonna be opening. I'm gonna be treating high and to the back. So I'm creating a dog that um, is used to getting lots of rewards for not exiting the crate, and they're in a nice planted position in the back. cue okay uh, and then no treats on this side yes if the dog goes in there on their own hooray you get lots of extra treats for that if the dog lies down that's okay okay very nice smaller dog, one of the things I love to teach is smaller dogs to hop in the soft crate that I'm going to use as a carrier. So that just makes my life so easy. I just cue them to hop in and poof, they hop right in there. We can do that. Now this looks really easy because quite honestly, these guys have worked for weeks and weeks and weeks on a place cue and not moving. Um, so they're making this job look lot easier than it is if we had never practiced a place cue before. Okay. Very nice. So one of the things that I'm looking for is that. Okay. Thank you for being such a good demo dog. One of the things I'm looking for is when I release the dog, what is their choice? Their choice should be, oh my God, I want to run back in here because it's awesome in my crate. Um, which Gus just demonstrated. I want, want to restart this game because this is where all the value is. I'm building lots of value for not moving and sit. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so you can see how when I open the door that time, you see how he really wants to come out. He's doing a great job not actually exiting, but um, this is why I want to reach all the way back and inside the crate with my hand. So I'm not encouraging, if I'm treating too closely to the front of the gate, um, it, it's going to encourage the dog to want to keep sneaking out. So I want that dog to think, Ooh. those treats are always going to come way in the back. Oh, that's why you want to come out. There was a sneak treat in there. we're going to practice this. Um, so the first, all right, ready? Touch. Okay, kill. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to toss some things in there. Always going to close the door. Okay, and then when I open the door, 
I'm going to reach in high and towards the back of the crate and treat the dog. It's okay if they lie down, but what I'm doing here is I'm going to make in here be really rewarding and make sure the dog does not come out until they get the release cue. Okay! When they get released, no treats on the outside. Okay, kennel. Always gonna close the door. And then I'm gonna open the door and I'm gonna reach in and treat towards the back. Up high. Okay, I don't wanna treat, it would be really easy to treat over top of the, uh, an open crate like this, but I always want to open the door. Okay, so you see how, um, Willow's never practiced this before. So you see how when I unlatch a door and open it, most dogs will want to come right out. So I'm trying to make that latch not be the thing that cues the dog to come bolting out. Um, she's practiced downstay a lot, so she's just offering me a down and not moving there. Um, so each time I practice this, I'm going to open the door, I'm going to reach in, treat high and towards the back so the dog is nicely tucked back there. Um, and then when I'm ready, okay, okay, let's go. She says, no way, man. going to work on the cue. Yeah. Now I can toss treats over the top when I'm working on touch. that time so I was kind of just luring her into that sit. Okay. Good job. All right. We are here with Rosie. Hi Rosie. Rosie has spent um, only a couple weeks here. I think this is her third week. And so her, uh, we have spent a lot of time working on a place cute. So this is, right now I'm just trying to make going into this crate awesome. I'm just tossing in some chicken towards the back. Hi. And then again, closing that door, opening the door. So you can see her first reaction was open door, I'm gonna, I'm out. Okay? She's not loving this so much, but that's okay. Okay, trying to get a nice sit back there. Again, we're trying to build value for the crate, but what we're also trying to do at the same time is we're trying to build value for self-control, for not bolting, because again, this is sort of a multi-purpose thing where we're working on release cues, we're working on um, practicing holding a position until you've been told to do something else. Okay, that's really nice that she didn't try to bolt out when I opened the door. That's what I'm looking for. I would like her to stay in a sit towards the back of the crate. 
until I give her permission to move. I'm just going to see if she offers me any kind of other behavior right now besides staring at the gate. self-control in the beginning. Offer me a sit and I open the door and you don't move. Yay, you can come out. Um, and then again, we'll start the game. But remember, all the rewards happen while the dog is in the crate. All the dog, all the rewards happen in that sit towards the back of the crate um, so that we can really build that, ooh, just hang out back here, skill. All right, go. I know, why would you want to go in there? Because we haven't been practicing. I'm gonna do, use a little say it, show it, pay it. So I'm gonna say what I want. I'm gonna show the dog by tossing the treat back there. Okay. I'm gonna do this a couple times. Kennel. Okay. So right now I'm not working on the um, hold position yet. I'm just trying to build. Yes, very good. Okay, I didn't even cue it, but she walked in there on her own. So I'm gonna jackpot. Jackpot is sort of exactly what it sounds like, where we give lots and lots of treats, especially when a dog has made kind of a, a breakthrough, like, okay, she entered there on her own without me cueing it. So I'm gonna really incentivize that behavior by lots of treats. Okay, good job. Okay, very nice. All right, kennel. Yes, amazing. Yes, that was so good. Yay. So good. Okay, now I'm opening that crate door. She's not charging it. She's not trying to exit. post-production everybody coming back in I'm gonna close this door though actually because I don't want them to think they just get to wander in there and nothing happens so I'm gonna keep this great door closed for the time being when we're not practicing